Hey, how's it going? Welcome to another Market Watch for all of Wynwood uh, for the month of April. The story is kind of the same as it's been recently. There just aren't as many homes as there are buyers. So homes are going for like way over asking some of these. Um, so now we're starting to see like, you know, homes that went on contract in February when like stuff really just started to pop off. Now they're kind of closing. So we're seeing some huge uh, like over asking closings. You'll see a couple of them. And yeah, buyers, there's buyers are starting to like wave contingencies going like not only are they going over so if you're going over asking and you're getting a mortgage then you're going to get an appraisal and there's not going to be a comparable for it so a lot of times you pretty much required to have an appraisal contingency saying like hey we'll cover any difference of purchase price and appraisal value or at least like we'll cover x amount uh, a lot of times now buyers are just waiving the mortgage contingency altogether um, people are waiving inspections altogether or putting like a cap on it saying they're, you know, just for information only or that they'll cover five, ten thousand dollars worth of uh, the first inspection, uh, like repairs. So we're, you know, getting creative offers um, and sellers. Unfortunately, it's like a lot of them, you know, would want to sell their house because right now you get top dollar, but there's not there's nothing to move into. So what are you going to do? uh that's it's it's a real problem one way to navigate that is people are doing a rent back so the buyer will buy the house from the seller and then they will rent it to the seller for like six weeks or like usually to the end of the school year what's what's going on now uh so then the seller has those proceeds from the house and then they can make a competitive offer on the house that they want um or it gives them enough time to like figure out where they're going to move so that's just something that people are doing now you know in the past that wasn't really a common thing and I'm gonna get started with the market watch here. Nope, maybe not. Let's see, here we go. So before we dive into that, I just wanted to show you some results from this year uh, compared to last year. So, you know, January 1st to May 1st right now. So in all of Linwood, there's been 30, either detached or twin or like row home. These don't include condos. So there's been 30 listings uh, for an average of 990. And then the median is 746. And over here, days on market. So again, all you hear are just these homes that go in like a day or two and like everything's crazy. But you'll see some of these homes like 32 days on the market, 84, 122, 54, 119, 103, 104. 74, 43, 27. So you still have to list it like appropriately. You can't just throw any old price tag. And when you do list it appropriately, that's when you get a crazy high offer because you get a lot of people interested. Someone falls in love with it and they need to have it. So then they just throw in a crazy offer. So you see that's 30 listings from this year. Last year at the same time, the time frame, there were 42. And I was actually, I thought there would have been more, honestly. So like for Narvath and Ben Valley, in the same time frame, there's been 13 total detached homes. And then last year there was 30 total detached homes. Um, so I thought we would have seen a bigger jump here too. And you'll see the average was 737 and the medium 653. So the average and median this year are both way up. Um, and you know, last year, again, you see a lot of days on markets that are like one, five, sevens, but then a few that are that are high. And here's the market watch. Normally it's active, active under contract pending closed. We're having some technical difficulties. So everything's kind of scattered. But uh, 1405 Hillside's pending. This one on Haverford Road, that is pending. That's been up for a while. Um, Indy Creek Drive right there for 790. That one's pending. 918 Remington ended up selling for 735. That was up from 695. Uh, and that's honestly, that's average right now, like a 5% above asking. And that one's, so they price it pretty well. Uh, and that's right next to Shortridge Park there. So yeah, that's uh, that's pretty average, 5%. 400 work, that one was on the market. Then I think they did a price trap. Now it's active under contract. Penn Road, that one's pending for 1.5. Owen Road for 6.40. Um, 1241 Morris, they had originally listed a little higher, then they canceled it, put it back on at 
this, and then they, they got it under contract. Now it's pending. Um, that has a really nice interior. 1358 Garden Road, that closed slightly above asking. Um, so 2% for a twin, you know, that's it's pretty good, 710. Uh, although it does have a lot of space, five beds, three and a half baths. Uh, Indian Creek, this one expired. That has uh, some issues going on with it. I think, I don't know if it's sheriff sale or something yet, but it's something's going on there. 317 Ingeborg, that one um, close up 176. So that was on, off, on, off. It was listed in August 2020 for 1995. Uh, and then they were able to sell it. And that is just a, an absolutely gorgeous property. 463 Valley Tour. So this one was surprising because it was listed at 139 and they didn't even put it on the market. They took an off market offer. So I thought it was going to be a lot higher, but it closed at 14. Um, so I'm not really sure what happened there. Then moving on, this one on Montgomery Ave under contract. Uh, this one right here. So again, Shoreridge Park, you know, everyone loves it. Um, but this home, it's a great location. Um, could use some updating, let's say. It was listed at $599 and it sold for $757, 26% above asking. Uh, so that's that's a big one, 26% above asking. But that's it's an amazing location and they price it pretty well. And someone who wanted to live next to Short Ridge said, here's all my money, take it. So good on them. That was a great closing. Remington, this one's expired. That one's been on, off, on, off. Uh, Drayton Row, that one's pending for 625. That one is over. Uh, 265 Fairhill, I mean, that's going to be absolutely, that's going to be a showstopper of a home that was listed uh, slightly above two, so that definitely went over. 101 Anton, that was on for a bit. That closed, um, I don't know, maybe 100K below. Total for Anover, if you, follow homes on the main line, then you are familiar with Spazato Home Builders. They make phenomenal homes. Um, and this one definitely fits the bill. It just is so pretty inside. Um, and that was one three or one three five. It was one three five. So they ended up getting one four, um, which is great like for all the homeowners like in, immediately surrounding it because you know that helps the value of their home. 614 Argyle that closed at the end of March, um, that was below. 611 Greythorn, so this one is still active and uh, it's been 11 days. So we'll see, probably I'm doing this on a Sunday, so probably by Monday that might be under contract. 519 Marino, that one actually closed above six. Yeah, so it was sort of like 115. And you know, it needs some updating, but that's just, you can't buy that location. Um, so yeah, that got a good price for that. 502 Windwood Road, that one also got above by a lot, by 19%, like on Windwood Road. Um, so they did a good job with pricing it and then get people interested. 1230 yeah, Remington, this one's at two, basically three, nine. 935 Remington, that one's under contract. Aubrey right here listed at basically two. The curb appeal is amazing. Um, you know, could use some updating, but we'll see what happens with that one. 1360 Arbordale. This one has like, it, it's definitely a look. Uh, the master bath is enormous in that thing. Like the master bath is the size of like, it's probably bigger than like New York City apartments. Um, and we'll see, we'll see what happens with that. There's not really, the backyard situation is not the best. 134 Anton, that one just came up, 1575. Uh, Nice, nice interior. And then 478 Bally Tour, that one's been on again, off again type of deal. So we'll see what happens with that. Yes, yeah, so it was listed in October for 950. Then they had a price change. So we'll see if anyone gets that. And yeah, that's it for April uh, for all of Wynwood. There are you know, not too many homes. Ones that are good go way over asking. Ones that you know, are, are not priced competitively, they can still sit. So you just never know. If you're interested, the value of your home, because, you know, the, the mortgage rates have risen. So how does it, it hasn't affected it yet, but it might, 
Um, comparables from six months ago don't really compare to now. Uh, you know, there's a lot of variables that are rapidly changing. So if you do want to know what your home would go for uh, and you don't know where to start, I'd love to be a resource. My contact info is below and you can call, text, email. I can come over, just tell you what I think, what it would sell for like in this current market, which in three months from now might not, you know, it might be a different type of thing. As I know three months previously to now, there's different prices. So yeah, let me know. And also, I hope you have a good month of May. It seems like the weather is uh, here to stay. Although I've said that before, we'll find out. All right, have a good one.